So welcome back to episode six of the Visual Studio Extension series. Uh, what we're going to be talking about today is JSON to C Sharp extension. And honestly, this might be the best one I've found so far. Got a lot of installs. I mean, five star <laughs> out of seven reviews. But I tried it and it's super helpful. So what it does is it takes a uh, JSON object and it converts it to C Sharp classes which is super handy because if you have a lot of like nested um, like child objects, so you have a uh, your like header and you could have a child object of result here. Um, typically in C Sharp, at least when making models, those will be different um, classes. And it can become kind of tedious to make those yourself. So this makes it for you. Um, so if you go ahead and open up Visual Studio, um, I'm in 2019. And if you go to extensions, manage extensions, um, make sure you're on the online tab and type in just JSON to C sharp, search it. And it should be the first one by uh, Keong Nugan. I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, it's free, obviously a lot of downloads. So go ahead and download that um, and then restart your visual studio. And then you should be good to go. Uh, I've already download, downloaded that and installed it myself. So once you have that um, installed, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to Tools and JSON to C Sharp. And you're going to see it opens up this um, window. And what you can do is if you just move it, you can see you can um, tab it like how you normally would. So you can make it a new um, window or you can pin it to keep it on there. Uh, it's kind of up to you. So you see this empty window here. And if we go back to the documentation, you'll see that we're supposed to input uh, JSON into the left side window. So it gives you a sample. So let's go ahead and um, copy that. Go back to Visual Studio, paste that in the left side, um, and it generate. So what we see here is we see all the classes um, that we can copy into files. So if we were to, let's say, copy this, copy it, and let's go ahead and make a new folder just to keep things a little organized. This is the same um, project or a solution that I've been working in for pretty much all the other videos too. Uh, so let's go ahead and let's call this uh, JSON to C. Uh, I don't know if it's going to take the thing. Let's C sharp. Um, but before we get into that, I just want to say that I have a whole playlist of other extension videos that I have, um, as well as some other really cool Visual Studio videos. If you want to check that out, they're all on this playlist on my channel. Um, but enough of that. So let's go and add a new file to the folder I made. New item. Uh, just add a class, and then you can really call it whatever you want. So let's just call this the, the header, because we copied the, uh, the root or uh, actually it's called they call it a root object let's call it that let's call it the root object file copy that in there and it gives you pretty much everything so place the class in there uh, you will need to import uh, I think Newton soft uh, hold on yeah you'll need to install this package so just find and install latest version it's going to install that and it's going to add the reference and once it does that the squiggly should go away and then uh, metadata I think metadata is one of the other classes let's take a look yeah so it's saying um, it's wanting to look for that class as well to make things easy and just to get things for the sake of the video let's just go ahead and copy all these other classes um, typically you're going to want to put these in their own um, file. But just to make things simple, uh, let's do it here. So you can see how really easy that is. So a common thing you might do in any kind of web development or really any software development that works with any kind of uh, APIs, particularly REST APIs that are gonna return back a JSON object, um, you're probably gonna need a class associated with that so you can serialize it into that class. Um, so we found uh, this method here using that extension, but there also is another way 
you can do it as well. Um, so if we go back to the documentation uh, and we go ahead and copy this, if we scroll down, it gives us the tool window option, which we just tried, but you can also do it this way, which comes with the extension as well. So you can um, right click the folder you wanna add it to, and you can hit generate classes from JSON. And you're gonna see why that's super, like, <laughs> is really helpful, and I wish I knew about this before. Um, so let's go back to Visual Studio. Let's go back to our folder. And you're gonna see this, uh, where is it at? Add, generate classes from JSON. So we copied it, so it's in the clipboard. So it should generate all, okay. Yep, it's already detected that file, so it's not gonna make that. Um, but it generated all the class, all the files. Um, obviously, it's gonna mess things up because we have these classes in here that we copied in here before, so let's go ahead and remove those real fast. So we don't have any problems, save that, and we can go back into the classes and see that each one was added with the JSON property uh, data annotation above each um, property. I mean, that's just super helpful. Like this is a good to, like this is a good thing to include whenever you're mapping over data to a, um, a model, you should probably include this JSON property just to explicitly name the JSON um, what's it called, property you're, you're looking for in your, in your response. Um, so it does it for us. So you can see how easy that really is. Like if you were to just jump over here um, and copy this, you know, and then do what we did there. Again, click add, generate classes from JSON, and it makes her like that. So I don't really know a faster way other than this way. Um, there are some other tools out there that exist like uh, Swagger uh, you can use to generate types off of uh, requests. Um, but this is a really like super easy, uh, easy to use, um, kind of foolproof way to do this if you're just starting out. So again, this is the extension. You can look here. I think that pretty much is all the features that come with this. Um, again, I have no complaints about it. I wish I knew about it before. Um, again, just super helpful because I have used some like online websites to do this same functionality, um, but they're not they're not great. So having one built into Visual Studio like this is really awesome. So anyway, if you want to check this out, go for it. Uh, if you have any other suggestions, comments, anything you want to know, uh, let me know in the comments. And yeah, thank you all for watching. And I'm gonna have uh, well, I'm definitely gonna have more of these videos coming out in the near future. So uh, stay tuned for that. And uh, thanks.